growth, but we do anticipate and hope for some um, commercial and light industrial growth. And um, also, um, the residents continue to want and even demand, and they certainly have a right to, um, an increased quality of life and additional services. And if those can be met in a reasonable, affordable way, we want to do that. So um, what this property lends is, number one, it's adjacent to our current property. So we right away have protective domain. The, the properties are connected. This is not a viable commercial property that I think is going to be in demand before other properties will be within the village limits. Um, it also, if you've ever really looked at the building, um, there is a small office area that is in nice condition, but the vast majority of the property is a garage warehouse type structure. It is heated temperature controlled. Um, it does have drains in the floor. It's very adequate for using for public works. Now, having said that, would public works ever need anything of that size? Certainly not. We are never going to use all of that. Uh, will we use more over time? We certainly may. So what are we going to do with all this building? Well, there are several things we can do immediately. We're not going to use everything right away. Certainly not. Again, remember that long-term planning. We will stop paying 900 a month to store our public works equipment like we've been doing and move that into this building. Our anticipation is of doing that hopefully by March 1st, getting everything moved and set up properly. Um, also, um, with the growth of just the change in our utility billing software, our newsletter production, um, as Jeff mentioned earlier, we have modified the squad room to accommodate that equipment. We still need a good records room. Our records, the older records that have to be maintained by the village before they can be destroyed, are still stored in the garage outside, which is not the desirable place for them to be. So. We anticipate using one of the offices there and making that a locked up, controlled, and contained records room. Um, now, there are other possibilities. One is we're going to look into leasing part of the building space so that we will get additional income coming in um, for the use of that space. So we will be looking at dividing the bays in some way so that, and we, we have a couple people interested, no commitments, but we'll be moving forward with that. Longer term, the question is, would we ever want to build a community center in eight years, 10 years? Will we ever want our own police department again? I mean, there's a lot of different questions and opportunities here. It's nothing that's going to happen tomorrow, but 10 years from now, we'll be here before you know it. And we're in a financial position and have been where we should start be doing long-term planning and getting a plan in place and goals in place. And uh, as Greg mentioned, going back with this pavement study, you never know when an opportunity is going to come up where a grant becomes available and you have a quick deadline to apply for it. And a lot of times you don't get those grants or even get the grant written because you're starting from square one because you have no true, already written, hardcore plan or even goal in mind, and you're scrambling. So, yes, Georgianne is whispering that I'm creating a lot more work for her and the other trustees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, one of the other pluses to that property is there's a cell tower on that property. Uh, we have cell towers on our village property that generate income. That cell tower income will now come to this village when we are the owners. So currently that cell tower is providing about $1,300 and some change. However, in February that's kicking up to $1,500. So we will be getting that a month. Um, another plus to the property, I would say it was vital, but certainly is a good plus for the security and future of the village, is there's two wells on that property. One well is a very little well, very irrelevant, it just supports the building itself. But there is another well that is a significant producing well, which our engineering company has inspected, and it could be turned into a municipal well. I'm not saying we're doing that tomorrow. But even back when we knew Cranberry Lake Subdivision was going to build, be built, we approached George Gaffney, the owner of that well at that time, and the village wanted to buy that well then, so we wouldn't have to 
have a new well drilled and well house built. Uh, Boys and Well at that time was thriving. That was their test well for all their equipment and they really didn't want to part with it. We briefly entertained sharing it and it was decided that was going to be too complex. So again, the additional plus is we have a very good producing well on that property. And with some modifications and a well house with the treatment center being built, that could be added to our system because um, while Painesville overall is very excellent water, our well, existing well on the farther west end, does draw a lot more iron than the other wells for this well. So we're very excited about this purchase, and with that, I'd like to ask uh, for a motion for approval of tonight's uh, ordinance authorizing the borrowing of funds for $600,000. So moved, second. Any other discussion? Roll call. Trustees Daranowski? Aye. Tiffany? No. Duberstein? Aye. Barrett? Aye. Daly? Aye. And Washington? Aye. Motion carry. Ordinance number is 11 01 140. I like that number. <laughs> Very exciting. So we are expecting again to close on January 18th. That's a week from today. And uh, we'll let you know when the housewarming party is taking place. Um, item three, sidewalk snow removal. Um, we had discussed this uh, at the last board meeting. And um, upon Jim presentation of the Snow and Ice Removal Act, I did go back and call um, a couple of our residents and had discussions with them. One family was very relieved to hear about the act and know that they couldn't be sued if they shoveled their sidewalk and yet somebody slipped them the fall and held them accountable. Um, so they have stated that they will start shoveling their sidewalk. Um, and so far that has proven to be true as far as I understand. Um, we had a request uh, and this came up with whether we needed to have a snow removal ordinance for shoveling of sidewalks and fire hydrants, but particularly the sidewalks. Um, mainly, I would say it came to a head because of a couple of bus stops. Um, uh, one bus, bus stop is particularly, uh, has a lot of kids at that stop this year. There's three buses stopping there, and the corner property owner where the bus stops was not shoveling their snow for fear that they were going to be held responsible. Um, so we had kids slipping and falling. Um, we were happy to send public works out to put additional ice down, but we don't want to take on that we're going to start shoveling everyone's sidewalk or even clear the bus stops. So, based on the conversation with those families and the feedback I got from them, and I also went a step further and called the bus company uh, because I got some further input from uh, some of the residents at the one, one bus stop where these three buses stop. Two of them stop at the sidewalk and one of the buses does not. It insists on stopping five feet prior to the sidewalk. So if there is snow, the kids have to walk through the snow. Um, the traffic supervisor said that she would go out and visit the area, talk with the bus stops, and there possibly may even be a change in the bus stop location to make it easier for everyone. So um, at this point, I would advise that I don't see any pressing need to move forward with the ordinance. Um, I think the enforcement issues could be a nightmare. And I also want to stress that if we're going to ever start making people shovel in a certain timeline, we have to worry about enforcement issues. But that also means that this village better get out and shovel every common area sidewalk if we're going to ask other people to do that. So let's keep it on the back burner and see how it goes, and we can always bring it back up for discussion. Any comments? Anybody? Okay, with that, um, I would like to ask for a motion to move into executive session uh, for the purpose of discussing personnel. Tiffany? Aye. Duberstein? Aye. Barrett? Aye. Bailey? Aye. Walking 
Uh, everyone is welcome to stay, have some refreshments, look at the deer, <laughs> give a trim, deer, 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 deer. We, we should be brief. It's not deer hunting season. <laughs> <laughs> Peter Phillips.